hello I'm back with Desmos Geometry and I'm going to be doing something special this time it is Christmas so we'll be doing something Christmas related it's a Christmas tree I'm going to be constructing a Christmas tree and just saying if you haven't yet checked out the previous videos please do especially the first video in the playlist since that'll help you with using Desmos Geometry. Link in the description. So now let's get started. We'll start with two points. This is what I normally start with. You will know if you've checked out some of the previous videos. And we're going to add a circle and create the equilateral triangle that we made in the second video. Yep, the second one. There. This is going to be the first triangle in our Christmas tree. So our Christmas tree is just going to be three triangles stacked on top of each other and then we along with a tree trunk. Pretty simple. Now we've got our first triangle. Now let's get our second. Let's do a circle here and now draw a segment here. You notice this intersection point here between the circle and the segment that we just made. This is going to be the top point of our second triangle. Now all we have to do is just construct a triangle around the point. We can do this by first making a circle so that we know where our two points are. Our next two points are going to be the middle of each of these arcs. And we're going to find this midpoint by connecting our top point here to another point down here. We need to make this another point simply by connecting this intersection to the center and also on the other side. Now we switch to segment mode and connect it up. On oh yes, this actually has to be a ray because we're going to be extending down a lot. So we'll just edit that a little. Now, this is a very big triangle here. We're going to do a smaller triangle, just this one, the same size as our top one. Yes, I know most Christmas tree drawings have them increasing in size little by little, but I'm just going to keep them the same size. There we go, our second triangle. Now all you have to do is repeat a similar process for our third. And you can see that our construction is starting to get a little messy. This is the messiest construction I've done so far. Yeah, it will be covered in circles by the time we finish, so we have to hide everything to get a clear image of the Christmas tree. Okay. Now we've built our second triangle, we need to follow the same process to build our third triangle. So the first step is to find the top point here. There is a shortcut. We can simply use the, you to take this point and put this here so that we get this new point. We can use this shortcut, but this shortcut is going to make it harder for us to construct our next two points because we need the circles if we're going to do it. So I'm going to delete that and let's go for the long way. So we have to take this point of the second triangle and then connect it to this and then also do it vice versa to get two circles. And now we get this point. Remember how we got this point? Yep, we connect this point, the instruction here, 
to either one of these points. They're all equidistant, so they're going to create the same circle. Now we've got the point. We can create a circle from this point by connecting this point, the new point we've just made, to this point down there. You can see that we are starting to get loads of circles, so try not to get mixed up. So, this is the circle that we're going to be using. We need to find the midpoint of this arc, and this arc to get this. So, all we need to do is just stamp it and then make two more circles. So, we're going to connect this point here to that point there or this point again same thing so that we get this new point make sure you get the right point it's this one then we just get this point here and connect it up there now we've got these two intersections these are our new points we get a segment to connect this the top point to these two intersections and now we simply need to build a triangle. Take this top point, this intersection point and this intersection point together to make our final triangle. The final thing we need to do is to create our tree trunk. So we take this point here and this point here to get our small rectangle here. We're not going to take this point because this actually isn't actually a right angle. How we get a right angle, we need to follow this process. So, first we connect this point. We take this point as the center and this point as the, oh no, circle mode. This point as the center and this point here perpendicular lines as the side so that we get this new point here this is going to be our actual point so we connect the center to this point then we got this point and also this new point we connect this point this old point to this point and also this point to this point now we've got these three circles that you might have recognized as three of a circle chain I previously made a video about this also. I can't remember the number though. You can you will see a card at the top over there. Now we need to use these to connect this up as a ray and then the ray crossing this circle the circle here is going to be our point. So we have to connect a ray, don't pick the wrong points, the ones with the intersections of our circle chain circles. There we go. And finally we need to take our four points and make it into a rectangle. Yeah, it is a rectangle, not quite a square. It doesn't matter though. But just to avoid confusion, because you know there are actually some tiny points in there. We're going to zoom in. How we zoom in? We take one of these points that we started with, the base point of the top triangle, and drag it over. Now you can see that we've got gone away, so we have to pull all of this stuff down here. Yep, there are three very close points, so you have to pick the right point. This point. And this point. We connect these points up into a rectangle. Now we're done. We have to go back up to these two points, zoom back out. There we go, our Christmas tree. I'm just going to quickly hide this messy circles and everything else in the background so that we just have a plain Christmas tree. Now I've left these two dots here 
for a reason because we can now adjust the size of this because if we had no none of these us it would just be the same size and you can't even turn it around or anything these are just going to be our control points but it doesn't really matter you can clearly see the christmas tree now it looks nice we can show the rest of our messier objects but yeah we can just leave them there faint in the background.